Hi, You've, this is Krista from Simply Breathe Now and this is day zero of my one month in my bullet journal for February 2019. I am really super excited about this. I am so nervous because of how busy my family is and everything that I won't be able to complete the 28 days, but I'm determined to. So I am hoping that this goes well. And I hope you join me for the whole 28 days because I am really super excited to be able to do this um, with all of you. So we'll get right in. Today is just about setting up. So if you followed my plan with me for February, um, you saw me set up for February, but you didn't see me fill anything in. So, and I don't normally show you how I fill everything in. So I thought I would do that today. So, um, I don't need to fill anything until February 1st for memories, and this won't happen until the new moon, which is, if I look back here, is the new moon in February is the 4th. So on the 4th of February, you'll see me fill that in. And then my habit tracker. So I will fill in my habits for my habit tracker, and... Um, we'll get right to this. So I will flip back normally to last month's habit tracker and I think um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I am going to do different this month. Um, our happiness project for our family and marriage, those two things, we need a new um, topic to be tracking but I will track them again and I think I'm going to do everything the same. Okay, so meditation up at five o'clock. I could almost drop the up at five o'clock one because I don't I don't rarely sleep in anymore and when I do I usually dread it. Stretch, I definitely need to do that. No fighting MK. No fighting K. Goal check. And half hour kid time. to Instagram which shouldn't be hard this month with doing a video every single day and post to Pinterest I would really like to get better at getting more succinct and um, consistent with Pinterest clean if I do anything for our Amian's house um, and then happiness project family oops family Happiness Project, Marriage, Income, Growth, and No Spend. I find that once, since I started tracking my No Spend, I feel like I stockpile on my spending all in one day so I can track that I don't spend on other days which is kind of defeating the purpose but <laughs> that seems to be be what I'm doing right now oh I forgot a line here when I was drawing so I'll add that line in here oops a little zig you get to hear all my whoopses and oh no and everything so these what I um, track down here. These are from um, a process I did doing the Desire Map by Danielle Laporte. Um, I think it's Laporte, Laporte or Laporte. I'll put up the link below. Um, and she does the Desire Map. And basically, you, from doing the process, you come up with your most desired wants or feelings. And all of these came out except for joy. I've added joy in the last year um, because last. January actually, I came across a definition that was um, just resonated so much with me. Basically, you feel happy when you are fulfilling your purpose. So that is 
I don't get joy very often, but when I do, it's totally different than content or happy or any other feeling. It's really truly comes right from my insides. So I like tracking that. So these came from that. And basically the reason I still come, um, why can't I spell? Can't spell and write. The reason that I track these every day is to make sure, come kind of not make sure, but more just check that I am doing things that are in line with what my core desires are. So, um, courage, connection, flexible. When I say flexible, um, as much as I need to be flexible within my body, which is so unbelievably true, I also am flexible with my what I do in the day because I sometimes can become very rigid and want to stick with what I had planned and I get very uncomfortable when it comes out of the plan. So am I flexible? And by tracking, I've really, really learned that um, I am more flexible than I thought I was. And it's actually really great feeling that um, way. These courage and connection are from Brene Brown's um, definition of um, from her book, the gifts of imperfection and I have if you got my wellness and and fitness journal I had the two can those two definitions there just because basically it's putting yourself outside of your comfort zone even just a little bit every single day and connecting with someone to the point where you and them both feel truly heard so I try to work on that every day too and then so I don't need to do anything for my gratitude log that'll just start on the day moods okay so I need to come up with my mood so I have all my pinks and purples and reds I've got all them out so now I just have to figure out what I'm going to be what is going to be what um so my moods don't usually change too much so I generally keep all zillion of them <laughs> I do have quite a few um let me see content so this unsettled one, that's a new one. I've been feeling really just out of sorts. Not, it's funny, I can't seem to fit it into any other ones. Um, it's not stress and it's not angry. It's just feel really out of sorts. Like it's just can't put my finger on it really. And so I've added that new mood. Um, okay, so let's start. I like to make content. Hmm. What am I going to do? I think I'll do that content and then joy. Joy, I like to be vibrant. I think I'm going to do this one as joy. Oh, I like to be excited to be vibrant too. So I'm going to do this bright red. And then grateful. I think I can just keep as normal. 603. Yep. And productive, I could keep the same as always, 703. <laughs> Relaxed, that's this one, I think, seven, oh no, 772, hmm. Relaxed, that's a, this is a pretty nice color for relaxed. And then, I wonder if I have enough. Stressed. Hmm. Stressed, I'm gonna do that one. Sad, I'm going to do 723, angry, frustrated, and then gray is always sick or tired, and I think I have this 722, I do. So what I'm going to do is after 703, I'm going to take this one out and make it unsettled, and this one relax because that's what I normally is. Okay, so let's put these down the side. How am I going to do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if I did six and six, that would be fun. So one, two, Man, I'm 
troubles. Content. Joy. and relaxed. Oh wow, I have six happy feelings and six not happy feelings. That was not planned, ever. So we'll start over here. I'm gonna do it this way. So then we have stressed. I have to fit in this frustrated. It's going to squeeze in. Just. <laughs> I'm going to put unsettled before sick and tired. And then sick slash tired. Okay. So I'm just going to. in because I don't need to keep the page anymore. So one tip that I have no idea where I heard it because um, I heard it so long ago but um, with the mood trackers is picking colors that really resonate with you but then also that um, for your negative colors that's still on the screen yep picking ones that um, also um, resonate with that are similar to the ones that are your positive colors. So as you can see, my excited and my angry are both reds. Slightly different, the angry is a little bit heavier. And this is gonna be a bright, bright um, pink for frustrated, which productive is pretty bright too. And then sick and tired down here, 175 always. And then unsettled, so unsettled pink is not too it's a little bit different but it's not hugely different so that um you don't look back and go bam wow that's when I was angry that's when I was sad you kind of go oh wait was I excited or angry there so that it's kind of it kind of tricks you hopefully into being having more positive um feelings but not always okay so those will be dry now. So 623, 665, and then this one is 856, 603, 603, and this is 703, and 772. Six thirty-six. Oh, that's really dark. You can't even see that. Seven twenty-three. Angry is eight forty-seven. Frustrated is seven twenty-five. And six seventy-three. And N seven five. All right. So that's all set up for the mood tracker. There we go. All right, word a day. I don't have to do anything until, <coughs> excuse me, the day of. Okay, now for my February calendar. So my February calendar, I go back to 
the front of my journal and I take out my perpetual calendar and I set it up here in front of me. Um, and then I'm basically going to write everything that's in my calendar. So I'm going to get my colors out. So pink is my daughter, blue is my middle child, green is me, and do I have any other stuff? Um, orange is um, holidays and events. And then on light blue is my younger son and gray is my husband. But I don't generally have very much on them because my... Um, I guess their schedules are just maybe just so consistent that I don't need anything extra. So here we go. Um, I'm probably will speed this up and put a little bit of music because it's just me filling out unless I just start talking and then <laughs> we won't have any music.
okay, I think that's everything that there is to put on here. Um, there's something I was going to say about it, but I can't remember now. So, oh, so basically I have my perpetual calendar, which is where I put anything from the future log. So anything that has to happen in the next coming um, months ahead, I will do in my perpetual calendar. And I started this one in June. So in June, I will get a new one. So I have a few more to do for that. And that stays where you saw in the front of my bullet journal. So if I have anything else, I also, before I started this video, transferred everything that was on my phone for February onto that calendar. And then my last thing that I do is I, um, where's my calendar, is after I have everything on this calendar, I put it on just a sheet of paper, which we keep on the fridge for everyone to see and add to. So this is the, this is the one that I refer to every day. Um, this is the one that is on the fridge for everyone else to refer to if they kind of want to know what's going on or what's happening. And that's where my husband will add information as on that one. We don't have our calendars linked and keep talking about it, but it just never seems to happen. He hasn't really picked a calendar. I think that he actually likes yet. So, um, and then my next two pages for simply breathe now, and I'm going to leave. These ones I'm not going to show you too much because they're kind of a little bit of my um, business stuff and some of the stuff I want to kind of keep top secret because I have some exciting stuff coming up and I don't want to um, let out of the bag what's going to happen. So I will put all the events that I'm doing here, any Facebook posts that I want to do, any schedules or anything. So if you saw last month's, that's a good example of um, how it's going to, similar going to work, what, when I'm going to post and then... Um, how I'm going to do and then I have a running to-do list of all the things I want to do and I'm going to do a product breakdown on this page and I'm going to do what I'm going to be posting on Etsy and kind of I think I'm going to be breaking down this into four different weeks so you'll see this at the end as long as everything's come out um, there might be some stuff that you won't be able to see quite yet um, and then my peds list all the things that I just want to do this month and my Amy's list and then my brain. So this is basically when I transfer everything over. So let's see, let's transfer everything over. Let's get the pen. Oh, I didn't, um, we're gonna do purple this month. So I didn't label my boxes. So Aaron's house. Well, trying to spell, think, talk, and do funky writing. Might be too much for my brain. <laughs> Horizon. And then up here, I don't want reflection. And I don't know if I want instant downloads either because I I think I'm going to try and do that on this page, on the Etsy page. So I'm going to leave those ones open. And this one, waiting on. And school. And then this is financial. And this side is Hicks Group. And this guy is um, oh, okay, so, so what do I need? The house, oh, still need to purge my clothes. Purge toys in basement. And the last one, in the bookshelves. I'm not sure I'm going to get to the bookshelves. Let's see. That may just happen when we move, eventually. Kids stuff. Uh, I just want to research, which is more peed stuff, but I want to research. 
there's no pressing, there's no pressing. I in. Oh, my pen might be dying. Might be time for a new one. And Mackenzie's birthday party, I'm not gonna um, move over because it's this weekend and so we will have it done then. Okay, so I need to still sew dress for my daughter's doll. That's been on there for Eve forever. Um, I need to finish my vision board. And work on the outlines for books. All right. All right, on the horizon are still taxes and a March break. So I'm gonna put that in here. I have some of the taxes done, but there's a lot of moving parts now. There's so many businesses that we have. Not all of them are due personal taxes. Okay, waiting on, really only waiting on one person. And this might not pan out, so We'll see if I don't hear anything this month and that's just going to be crossed off because it's no longer existent and I don't need to do any of that and look at all the stuff I did this week in banking okay Hicks group financial stuff I need to write on statements for October to December to January and over here in personal foo 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 lots to do close TD account that really is a phone call I don't know why I don't do that that's like a big frog that silly thing it's been so long on there and it won't take long at all this is a big endeavor simply breathe now books for the year I got it all over the place Thought I was doing a pretty good job of keeping it together. Ah, nope. It's all over. That needs a good day. Okay, and books for October, November, November, December. So books are almost done. I just need to do one more account. It's almost done. Prepare taxes. Just started, but it's still a while ago. We have to wait for everybody to send all their forms. And then send money for swimming lessons. Okay. And then that's it. So that's everything that needs to be migrated and set up. So I think I have everything done. There's a few stuff that needs to be erased on here. What else do I see over here? But that's it for the setup. So not a lot, just getting things set up. My calendar is what takes the most time. And then I'm going to have to go through and figure out what I'm going to do this month with my focus is going to be. That's my other thing is that I have to figure out what my focus is going to be for my month here. So I did, um, I do kind of have a little bit. That's my happiness project in here. This is in the Goulet's insert that I have right before. I haven't been really finished this yet. So I had kind of my monthly I wanted to rejuvenate. And so I'm going to kind of figure out what's happening in February, what I want to do. I have a feeling the month of February last year, I when I drew my insert, I drew I Choose Love. And I kind of feel like we need to go back to that, that I choose love, that that's my first. Our whole family needs to go back to choosing love before anything else. So we might be doing that. That might be what we do. Um, and then figure out if our um, happiness project, if we're gonna, what we're gonna choose for that. We have a whole bunch of ideas. You can follow me on Inst 
Instagram, you would have saw them, all my different ideas. All right, so I think that's it for today. Um, if you have, oh, I should put my rooms in. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you and hear what's happening. And if you have any questions about any of the types of planning that I am doing, I would love to answer them. And I hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow morning for my first plan with me. One month of my bullet journal. Have a great day. Bye.